guys it's venam rio from the founder pen guy and today i have a new founder pen review video for you this review video is for the hero doctor 329 founder pen or the hero founder pen the founder pen of hero comes in a pretty nice box a paper pack box so this is the box the paper type box and it has something written on it which is 329 hero founder pen with iridium tipped nib and something written in chinese so this is the box a uh, simple looking basic box yeah that's it and this is the pen itself so we'll start with the review with the physical overview of the pen on the top we have the silver cap with the clip over here the clip is very flexible on the hero doctor pen it is very good you can put it in your pocket as well i hope you guys can see this properly it is branded as hero and coming downwards we have 329 written with made in china mark and something written in chinese coming more downwards we have a hero sticker which is written as hero i hope you guys can see that hero with hero written in chinese and coming downwards we have a hole so as you guys can see the build quality of this hole is not very good uh typically this hole is used for something choking purposes or something which is there on the pilot kakuno fountain pen also for the students so this uh, is compulsory for all pen companies i don't know what is that reason so i think the build quality over here is very bad so in terms of build quality i didn't like the pen like except for the cap the cap is just the great feature about the pen the cap is very flexible it can be very stretchable so that's one of the good things which i like the uh, about the let's uncap un uh, uncap the pen and talk about the nib so the pen comes with a hooded nib or uh, typically like the pilot century fountain pens or the flare surfer fountain pen then coming downwards there is some type of mark which is gold plated the nib is also gold plated and this is the back of the nib if you watch carefully the nib is a little bit on the right hand side according to me it is not completely in the center uh, the placement of the nib is not properly done over here yeah so that's the problem and then we come here we have a thread type barrel we unscrew the feed barrel i was thinking that this pen will have a standard international cartridge but this pen has the old vintage type squeeze converters so this is the squeeze converter it's hero written or uh, written and the it's a metal type squeeze converter the problem with the squeeze converter is uh, it is a 2 ml squeeze converter but it doesn't take at least 0.5 ml of uh, ink inside it cannot cover up the whole converter with the ink so that's one of the problems which i feel is with the pen so it's a very good pen which i like uh, it uh, the body is of black color and it comes uh, with different types of colors like the blue the the blue the green and the brown many other one uh, now i have the silver one also present this is a different type of pen with uh, hero only so, so hero is a chinese company earlier it used to be known as the shanghai pen company or the fountain pen company of china it manufactures all its pen in china and it exports to all other countries like india hero has a very good presence in the market of the united states and i have been having very very good reviews about the pen so now let's talk about the pricing the hero pen is priced at rupees 60 with the converter and you get the box with it and there are the the other hero pen which i showed you is priced at rupees 50 so the price may fluctuate uh, in the retail markets and on the e-commerce website such as amazon flipkart and snapdeal so that must be a difference which you uh, find talking about the pros of the pen uh, i love the 
clip of the pen the hero clip which is here it's very flexible that's one of the great reasons and you can put it in your pocket very easily so that's one of the great things and it's a lightweight pen talking about the size if you remove it you put it it's a push to post it's very small and i like to write it like this it's very small and it comes very perfectly it fits in push to post so the size of the pen is very small and it's a lightweight pen it's a durable plastic made of lightweight pen the third pro is about the nib of the pen for a 50 to 60 rupees pen hero has provided us a great nib the nib is a very basic nib it is not that scratchy also it is not that uh, great also but in terms of writing in terms of daily basic writing it is a very good nib it is smooth and it is fine and medium then talking about the cons uh, the writing there is a problem with the writing when you write with the pen uh, what happens is uh, the nib sometimes becomes very scratchy and that can be a problem for you guys another problem or the con is the fact that it only accepts the converter the squeeze converter the con 20 type squeeze converter it cannot accept a cartridge it cannot accept a eyedropper also so that's a problem and the converter which is there that uh, can take a very low uh, capacity of ink so that's again a problem another con about the pen is about the build quality the build quality of the pen is very poor the way hero has done the finishing and the build quality of the pen is very bad as you guys can see there are too many scratches on the pen there is a hole which is not properly built in terms of choking and all other stuff so i think the build quality could have been improved for rupees 60 because the pricing which they've priced is too high so in terms of that they should have given something good so uh, we'll do a writing sample first so I have a normal paper over here and we start with the writing sample. Here. Hero. Fountain. Pen. I love to do this. So as you guys can see, I've put a very little minimum amount of pressure, uh, pressure but still uh, it's being a little bit scratchy and it's fine also. They've not mentioned what type of shape is this. Let's do a little bit of line variation. The ink which I've used over here is the Waterman ink. This is the ink which I've used. The Waterman Paris ink, uh, the brown color, uh, 50 ml this can cost you around uh, 400 rupees i'm dying to write the very good code the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy the lazy the lazy So it's good only, not any problems or issues with it. Talking about the conclusion, whether you should buy or not buy. When you take a writing instrument, specifically found in pens, it all depends upon your needs, your suitability, your satisfaction. We have to keep all the pros and cons and details about the pen and then go for the suitable option which we think. The Hero found in pen is a vintage, simple pen with a hooded nib. It provides you basic writing experience with a squeeze converter for bottled ink. If you don't write too much, sometimes only with basic features, a simple nib with bottled ink, then definitely you should go for the, this fountain pen. But if you are a daily writer, you're looking for some more options and you want some more features according to your satisfaction, then you shouldn't go for this pen. You might have some problems with the nib, the ink, the flow of the pen. So keep in mind about all of these things and then purchase the right one. If you have any queries regarding the pen, you can mention them in the comment section below. I hope that this video, the review of this pen was helpful for you to buy the suitable option for you. Do share my video, hit the like button over there and give a thumbs up because it really motivates me to make all that awesome stuff for you guys. This is Fountain Pen Guy over here.
signing off and i hope to see you in my next video thank you and bye bye